Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock! With probably our most varied haul ever. Uh, here's a subscriber package, I've also got something from eBay, something from Bricklink, and something from Lego Bricks and Pieces. Something from everywhere! Well, clearly I need to start with the most important of all of those, and that is the subscriber package, which is very heavy, I must say. I forgot this last time when it had arrived, but uh, put it to, oh golly, put it to one side <laughs> and I've, it slipped my mind essentially. But anyway, here we go. Better late than never. Uh, and if you want to send something to a future brick call, you can by sending it to the usual address. Uh, and this one seems to be an absolutely huge supply of Lego instructions. And there's a letter. Oh, very nice handwriting. Hey, Robin. At Green Stuff Gav here, I've just joined the My Folks Sold All My Lego For £50 Club. Oh yes, <laughs> that's a familiar feeling sadly. Uh, and apart from some brick heads, this is all I've got left. So I thought I'd send them to you, hopefully an opportunity for a video as one creator to another. Keep up the great work and have fun, Gav. P.S. I tend to not watch the unboxings. No idea if there's a way to tag if you enjoy sifting through these. I'll try and see what I can do, Gav, but uh, <laughs> hopefully you'll see it from the thumbnail, but that's very nice to receive. Let's have a look through these. Uh, I can see some sets that I do have and some that I don't. Uh, let's see. So we've got uh, Spider-Man, Avengers. These are all... Oh, that's a more interesting one. A bit of an old one. Oh, yes. Look at that pirate scene. The thing I loved about the old catalogues, they'd have all the sets down one side, but they'd have all of the lovely sort of dioramas with everything all together and that's exactly what I try and do in my city so there is all the castle stuff oh yeah that looks a bit like my harbour doesn't it this is literally where I get my inspiration from with all the different levels for the water below the ground level and all the rest of it that looks absolutely great I've got those cranes and one like that actually <laughs> that's very much like uh, Brick Nottingham then the smaller train scene but also very familiar some boats there Oh, love all of those. I've got none of those. And on the other side, wow, Blacktron. Oh, yes. So if ever we do a big space scene, it'll have to look like that with all the rocks in between all of the nice landing pads and so on. And then we've got the red stuff. Uh, that's Mtron, isn't it? I think from memory. Space Police and more Blacktron stuff. Love that one. That is seriously cool, isn't it? On there, it's flying look. Very nice indeed. So that is really good fun, that one. Fold that up carefully. Ooh, which way does it go? That way, I think. Got a Lego movie one. Oh, I've got that set. A very old one. Don't know if these are valuable or not, with the uh, nice dragon sort of head ornament and so on. Little racer there. I've got that shuttle. Harry Potter. Got that space station. <laughs> Two ones for that. A nice mech. Oh, I nearly bought that one just for the robot, but or rather just the robot on Lego Bricks and Pieces, but never did. So there's the three different versions doing that. Great big scorpion. Another mech. I think I've got that one. Yeah, I have. Yeah. And then, oh, Hagrid's Hut. I was considering using that build in one of my future castle sort of scenes, or maybe just pressed up against Castle Rock or something, but I never did. Uh, the older, older one of this had this sort of uh, canvas roof, which looks quite interesting. Um, yeah, I suppose it's just harder to sort of get it uh, up against a rock face, I suppose, with all those angles on. But it is quite an interesting shape. Uh, not very realistic for real life Nottingham, I must say. Overwatch, I know nothing about that. I think it's a computer game. I could even be wrong with that. <laughs> That's how little I know with that. Another creator one. Oh, nice dragon there. I like that one. He's got a good expression, hasn't he? More of that space station. A bigger mech from Batman with loads of nice characters. Yeah, very cool. Oh, wow. And then the Piesta Resistance. Oh, no, they didn't sell this, did they? <laughs> For only 50 quid. This is worth more than that all on its own. Uh, what's it called? Forbidden Island? Forgotten Island? Something like that. Uh, in the Islanders thing. And I love these old sort of Muai or whatever they're called. Maui? No. What are they called? Anyway, them. Statues and these uh, sort of skin drum and the sails and those 3D base plates and the sort of walkway and all the rest of it. Oh, and that sail, that's absolutely great. Oh, and there's the canoe that I've got uh, decorating my tiki bar on my mall. That's very nice indeed. Oh, and there's the chief, of course, with his fancy headdress. 
Very nice indeed. So I imagine even these instructions are relatively sought after in this lovely condition. Wow, absolutely amazing. And for all you younger people, you'll notice that they don't tell you which parts you're going to need for each section. So you kind of have to do a mini spot the difference uh, each time. Sometimes when they do more than one, they sort of give you a bit more detail. Uh, but I tell you what, the really old sets are really quite hard to follow by modern standards. You know, you might have a really old train build being done in about 10 steps, and it doesn't give you any clue as to what parts you're using each time. And you can end up with some leftover ones and think, hold on, how did this go? And you have to try and find where those parts might have gone in the original. But anyway, yes. Oh, I think this is the prize. I mean, that's almost worth framing. That's beautiful, isn't it? So thanks very much, Gav, for that. And especially that one as well, I really like. And some regular standard instructions. All good for the stash. Thank you very much. Uh, and then I'm going to move now swiftly on to uh, an eBay purchase. Now, this was another gift with purchase, actually. Uh, but basically, I didn't have anything to buy at lego.com. Uh, which you can do all your purchase on using my link, of course. Uh, but I really wanted the gift with purchase uh, because, well, it's very city-esque. And it is this one. Da, 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 da. Uh, the 40681 Retro Food Truck from this year, 2024. And I absolutely adore this. Uh, not just because there's a lovely vendor selling delicious hot dogs with a nice sort of fold-down hatch with the sauces on at the back. Uh, and even an interesting hot dog and snack sticker on the other side. But partially because of this view here, it's very, very reminiscent of a sort of old school uh, French branded truck, kind of a Citroen or, or maybe an old Peugeot or something like that from, I don't know, the 60s or something, probably with really wonky suspension. Uh, so deliberately when I built this, I kept the steering wheel on the left because usually I swap that over to the UK style of driving where we drive on the left-hand side of the road so the steering wheel goes on the right. But this time I thought it would be a French vehicle so I left it where it was. Though I have put on a pair of proper British number plates because it would now be registered in our country. So I really like that. Uh, and then I thought before adding this to my city because it's almost perfect already, I'll just improve it very slightly. And essentially I'm going to remove two of the roof tiles which act as sort of reinforcement for removing the roof so you can see on the inside and replace them with two of these uh, one by four ones with the stud I'll just show you the inside of the roof so you can see all of the kitchen equipment which is really nice um, so I can basically attach some of these oh yes just two stacked on top of each other but why on earth are you doing that Robin well so I can use eventually finally <laughs> this rather large hot dog piece uh, from a Duplo set. Well, two in fact, one of which is 10956, the amusement park from 2021. Uh, and this was just a part that I bought kind of speculatively thinking, well, I must be able to use this one day. Uh, and I'm really glad I did because that one day has arrived. So basically I can just get this, push it down over those pieces and it is held on very firmly. Look, I can pull the roof off using just the hot dog. So no problem there at all. Can I lift the whole vehicle? Well, probably if the roof stayed on, I could. <laughs> but it's not at the moment. There we are. Uh, so yeah, I just think that's absolutely perfect. Look at that. A massive 3D hot dog sign for my hot dog kind of Citroen vehicle. And I absolutely adore that. So that is going straight into the streets of Brick Nottingham. And we can have loads of people munching on hot dogs down the street absolutely perfect brilliant uh so also uh from ebay this week i got some additional da, 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 panel pieces for castle so i can extend my uh tower up the rust tower into my main castle build in the main city uh, and i also got da, 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 this which is a rather fantastic, I think you'll agree, um, sail piece, or at least I thought it was a sail piece. I thought it was for some great big ship uh, back in medieval times with the Lion Crown Knight sort of logo on it and the stripes. Uh, but it turns out it actually comes from the set 6091, King Leo's Castle from the year 2000, uh, where it's actually kind of mounted on a wall inside the castle, kind of like a wall hanging, I suppose, a massive old tapestry. Uh, so it isn't actually the sail on a boat at all. Uh, so I thought I was being really clever because I thought I'd buy this ship's sail and I can use it as kind of an awning. Uh, but really, <laughs> it was just the same as it was used in the set, not on a boat at all. Uh, but in a way, I am still clever, actually, because they just used it as a vertical wall covering, kind of separating two sections of the castle from each other. It's really hard to find a good 
picture of that, by the way. Uh, but I think I'm going to use it uh, kind of as a, a roof on, uh, as the sort of roof awning on, well, the, the viewing gallery for my joust. So I figured if I sort of bend this sort of edge over, so it's all sort of bobbly like that, and on this side, bend that over and attach them maybe to some supporting uh, poles and things like that, then essentially we'll have something that looks a bit like that as the roof of the viewing gallery where we've got all the dignitaries uh, and the king and the queen and all the rest of it underneath here in the shade and it will be very pretty and bright and colourful indeed. So yeah, I suppose I am still quite clever <laughs> identifying that it could be used for an alternate use. It's just that it wasn't a sale in its original uh, use but that is just in pristine condition. No stains. Uh, it did have one crease but I've basically had it under some heavy books and it seems to have gone entirely. So that is almost perfect. Cool. So that was uh, another thing. Uh, a third thing I got from eBay this week was da, 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 all of this Series 25 uh, series minifigures. It's just so much easier than doing blind boxes, getting all of these. So I've got the dog groomer with the wonderful new Afghan hound. Fantastic. Isn't that a lovely dog to add to the collection? So this was <laughs> clearly one of my favourites uh, when I saw the pictures just because of the dog. But we've got a very interesting uh, hair set up there. I, I think that's a cochlear implant uh, hearing aid there actually because it's sort of got the attachment onto the head as well. So that's very uh, interesting to have in the city as well. Never seen that before. Uh, we've got this one, the Fierce Barbarian, which can, which can go straight into my castle scene. Uh, and I think this is Red Sonja. Now, you may not remember Red Sonja, but it was a film with Arnold Schwarzenegger where you had a female uh, barbarian played by Bridget Nielsen, and she had bright, uh, bright red hair in that, so I figure this is definitely supposed to be that. And look at the size of that sword. Absolutely mega. It's a really good film, actually. <laughs> a bit cheesy by modern standards, but it was pretty good. I can recommend it. Um, then we've got this, which is called Train Kid. Not to be confused with the goat that we'll see later, but uh, yeah, he's good. I like the eye patch behind the glasses. He's obviously been in a mischief. It reminds me of Pudsey the Bear, uh, the uh, uh, children in need uh, sort of charity emblem, where it's a teddy bear who's got a patch on his eye. But we've got another one of those caps now in blue, so that's really nice. I'm going to have to make that into a sort of bouncy, wobbly ride, of course, much like I have with the uh, boat, uh, the car and the aeroplane. I think I've only shown you one of those so far, so I'll show you those soon. So he's great. Uh, Triceratops suit fan, uh, which I don't like the name of again, because a Triceratops costume fan is a fan of Triceratops costumes, whereas I imagine he's actually a fan of Triceratops, uh, the dinosaur. But anyway, maybe he could be standing outside uh, the Natural History Museum, handing out flowers or something. Uh, or maybe he can be on the back of the uh, T-Rex transporter, with the T-Rex suit guy. So anyway, that's him. Not my favourite, but still quite fun. Uh, then we've got the personal trainer, who I think is Mrs Hood's favourite, just because she is an avid gym goer, and she's always throwing around these kettlebells and things like that. So yeah, got a tattooed arm there, and a Vita Rush uh, drinking bottle. Don't think you'd be drinking Vita Rush if you were concerned about your health. We've got a harpy, which is an interesting sort of beastie from Greek mythology. Uh, and she, I think it's a she, has got these weird sort of backwards uh, goat legs. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, so I don't know where I'm going to use this one, really. I kind of need a Phineas uh, who's getting pestered by the harpy, kind of like on Jason and the Argonauts, if you've seen that very old movie, which is also cool, <laughs> if a bit dated now. Probably my favourite is the goat herd for two reasons. Partially, we've got a new goat model which can keep uh, Alex the goat company on my farm, Far Corner Farm. Very plain, but very different, so that's very nice. But I think my favourite part is the goat herd's face. He is enjoying that goat's cheese. So I like goat's cheese as well, and wow, that face just says it all. Mmm, 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 that is good goat's cheese. So I think that one's my favourite. That gets the Robin Hood award. Possibly my least favourite is this one, <laughs> just because I've got no idea how to use a mushroom sprite. Uh, I mean, she looks like a fun guy to be around, but uh, I don't know. I think there might be a mushroom for improvement on this one. <laughs> yeah, enough of the dad jokes. Uh, I didn't check, actually, if this was a new uh, butterfly. I imagine it is different print from the one in the botanical garden set and the... Uh, uh, 
a woodland cabin that's uh, recently had these. I kind of like the mini skirt that thing, but yeah, ideas for how on earth I can use this. Uh, no idea on that one. Uh, then we've got the film noir detective that I love. I just love his hat. I think that's perfect. I love the collar on his raincoat. And I love the fact that he's holding a red herring. Even better. Very comedy indeed. So I think I'm going to have to find the yellow skin tone face expression that's the closest to that and swap it out just so I can use it in my city. Because it doesn't really make much sense him being film noir in Brick Nottingham. But otherwise I can put him kind of trying to solve the same crime as the uh, Sherlock Holmes character who's currently uh, on the top of one of my facades, if I recall rightly, looking for the culprit for some unknown crime. Uh, then we've got a sprinter with a medal. We've had quite a few sports people, but this one has got uh, blades on both of her running legs. So that's really good. 2024 on the uh, label there. So really nice. We'll have her either in a gym or running around or just uh, showing off her medal, maybe. <laughs> kind of need her on the open top bus, really. Uh, then we've got the uh, eSports Gamer, which is not hard to describe them. I'll just call them a gamer, I think. eSports. I'm not sure about the word sport with computer games. I mean, I think of a sport as something you have to get off your behind to do. But anyway, I do like the figure. It's a bit sort of standard, uh, but it's got some interesting prints, including a, another sponsorship from Vita Rush. So, yeah. It's good to have around the city. I like the torso print, but um, yeah, not so staggeringly amazing. And then probably the best of all, even though I said the goat herd was my favourite, is the vampire knight, who really isn't a vampire in my opinion. Uh, and he comes with this wonderful horse with barding. No, he doesn't really. <laughs> but he should do because it absolutely suits him down to the ground. So uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be calling him uh, a vampire knight. He will forever be Basil the Bat Lord, in my opinion, as said in the comments last time I showed him off. So yeah, with his wonderful axe as well. Actually, maybe this is better than the goat herd. <laughs> so yeah, Basil the Bat Lord returns. So that is another wonderful addition this week. Oh, right. So now we've got to get on to the uh, Bricklink order. So I needed loads of generic pieces for recent builds and I've saved some time just by hook hooking out all of the good stuff. So I'm just going to churn through all of that. Uh, the first one is this lovely plastic piece, which is a windsurf or, or um, sail ship sail. Uh, and it says B05. And I'm kind of thinking, is that supposed to be a watermelon slice? I kind of think it is. Maybe it's just the colouring or maybe it's just me, but I think it looks pretty good. Now that came in a Belleville set, 5845, Desert Island from 1998. Uh, and I kind of collect sails, you'll be un uh, surprised to hear. Uh, just these plastic windsurfers. One day when I've got enough uh, open stretch of ocean, I'll be able to have them all out sailing together in a massive sort of swarm of windsurfers or, I don't know, catamaranas or something. But this one is lovely. I really like that. So Belleville number five, piece of melon. I like it. Uh, next, I've got this, which I just got for the stickers, really, rather than the piece. These two sort of shark head sides. I don't know if I'm going to add them onto a submarine build or something like that, but it's really nice. Uh, they came on the uh, Ninjago set 70613, Garma Mecha Man from 2017, which is a very odd looking set. Uh, but yeah, just saw that a while back, stuck it on my wanted list, and this vendor had it. So yeah, fair enough. I'll take it. Oh, we've got another Belleville piece here. It's an umbrella stand and an umbrella top with this kind of frilly edge. And it's of quite a big size, as you can see. And that just pops on there. And you can kind of angle it at different angles. So I don't know if I'm going to use this near a street vendor or something like that, maybe. Or maybe just uh, on the beach with loads of people suntanning underneath it. But yeah, it comes in loads of different colours, including in this yellow, obviously, in uh, 5841 Beach Fun from 1998. Another horrific looking set, <laughs> but a very interesting piece. So I quite like that. I've got a stud on the top and everything. Da, da, da. It's Magneto's body. Where's the rest of Magneto? So I've been collecting Magneto bit by bit. I've got his trousers. I've got a cloak. This isn't the right cloak. The original one came with a purple cloak, but I've got dark red already. So I thought I'd try that and see how that looks. We'll so stick that on there. And I've already got his head. Oh, and his lovely helmet. So there we go. There is 
uh, Magneto for my X-Men collection. And this is the best Magneto, in my opinion. Uh, maybe with a uh, purple cape, of course, uh, from 6866 Wolverine Chopper Showdown from 2012. And he's pretty expensive, which is why I've been buying him in bits whenever I've seen them, because uh, he's the best one, I think, because he's got the helmet and the sort of old school uh, costume as well. I really don't like the modern new one with a big M on his chest. That seems a bit weird to me, but that one's great. So I can have him sort of hovering in midair, maybe fighting with the uh, Phoenix. Uh, who I'm next, I'm trying to piece together, made out of parts from loads of different minifigures all sort of joined together, the best ones I can find. But yes, another project complete with Magneto. Uh, talking to people with cloaks, here is Queen Halbert, uh, unique to the set 70325, Infernox Captures the Queen from 2016. Uh, and that is just another uh, dignitary to have underneath this awning, uh, watching the joust going on in my Newcastle scene. Uh, so yeah, she's an Exonite's character, obviously, and well, is absolutely fittingly dressed for such a wonderful occasion. I might even give her a little crown or something like that. So she is a very good addition. Got a nice little uh, kind of screen here from 8257, Cyber Strikers. I just thought that was a bit different, so I bought that Ooh, with a target on. Kind of looks like something that should be from the Rock Raiders, but isn't. So there we go. Got some of the stickers from uh, the uh, Def Earth Defense HQ kind of flyer, 7066 uh, from 2011. I've got the two uh, kind of side ones on the front there with the arrows on. I've also got four of these ADU, Alien Defense Unit kind of uh, emblems as well. I got four just because, well, sometimes they come in really bad condition, but these all look good. So I should be able to move those successfully using my patented hot tea technique. <laughs> Uh, so I still need the really big stickers for the sort of uh, wedge bricks and for that tail piece, I think. And then I should be able to piece most of that together. Uh, this is very interesting. Look at that. A really nice sort of swim or don't swim sign for my beach. Uh, that came in 6435 Coast Guard HQ from 1999, uh, which is right in the middle there. And it's printed, actually. So really good. Yeah, which is why it's in such good condition. So I'll just add that to my uh, lifeguard tower in my city and that will just add another little bit of detail. Uh, I've got two uh, visors. Whoop, I've just thrown one away. Don't know where it went. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, so we've got the green one for my green knight, which looks very sort of corrugated and, well, I don't know, sinister almost. So I really like that one. Uh, and then this, uh, what would that be? Medium blue, sort of more streamlined one. Uh, they both came on the set 8799, Knight's Castle Wall from 2004, amongst other sets. Got these two panels from my Undersea, just interesting stickers on them. Clearly, uh, they have been placed upside down, I'm thinking, because they should be that way up, and I don't think they're that way up in the build. They're part of a, a little submarine on the set 60266, Ocean Exploration Ship from 2020, which is the really big one. Uh, I'll probably be moving them onto a completely different part, so it doesn't really matter to me, but interesting placement nonetheless. Uh, then we've got this sort of dinosaur, well, I don't know, computer screen, I suppose. That's quite interesting. Uh, so that came in the Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate set, 75930 in 2018. Uh, just like the DNA sequencing bit, really. If I'm ever going to do a lab where they're doing some research, I could even just use that part of it if I wanted. Uh, but yeah, it's got a picture of the Indoraptor there and a bit of a tooth, so that's fun. These three bricks are all sort of advertising and came in the same set. Uh, goodness knows what they're supposed to say. That's Cyrillic alphabet, so it's probably pronounced completely different uh, to what I would try and read it as, so I won't even attempt it. Then this one's sort of got three splats with some uh, Eastern symbols, and that's got some, uh, oh, I don't know, let's say Japanese writing on there. So uh, all three of these uh, come from the same sort of racing set, uh, which is the 8161 Grand Prix Race from 2008. Uh, where they're advertising, and that's probably exactly where I'll use them, especially if I ever get round to doing a racetrack on the streets of Brick Nottingham. But they are lovely to have, very bright and colourful. There's this one, which I since have got on a sticker sheet, so it's actually slightly less important than uh, it was before. And we've got a bit of an air bubble there in the middle, uh, but this came on the uh, 70640 SOGHQ or Sons of Garbodon headquarters uh, from 2018. 
but it's a really nice uh, big kind of print for uh, a Ninjago city to add to a lamppost or a wall that's a bit blank or something like that. It's very interesting. Another nice little yellow screen. Not that vivid on its own, but I mean, it's quite nice to have some variety, maybe for one of my defense towers in my deep sea cabinet. Uh, so that's uh, from three different Hydronaut sets, including 6199, Hydro Crystallization Station from 1998, which is pretty cool looking, if you ask me. Wow. So that's very nice. And then, last but not least on this order, the AMP Trucking Sticker, uh, which I just got to try and make uh, into uh, an advert as well. I'll probably have to sort of trim it and cut it out to make the sort of striping uh, vertical or something like that. And then I can put it, well, I could either put it on one of my trucks in my city, one that doesn't have any branding on it, uh, or I could, uh, you know, attach it to uh, an advert somewhere else or something like that. So that came on the uh, Bucket Truck Technic set 8071 from 2011, where it's on the door there. So yeah, wow, that finishes off an absolutely amazing haul. Oh, no, I haven't finished. I've got my bricks and pieces order. So essentially, I needed a lot of parts for a build, which are very standard boring parts. So I didn't think I'd show you all of those. So I've already taken them out and I've built up a few mini builds that I liked from current sets. So there's this sort of mobility scooter, sort of rascal type build, which came in a set 60365 apartment building from 2023. So I just like that. I've done it slightly differently, different red chair and so on, but I can put a granny on there, beezing around Brick Nottingham at high speed. I got the yellow scooter with a rechargeable tile, just so I could uh, have that as a bit of variety as well. That came on the 60364 Street Skate Park from 2023. Uh, that's very nice indeed as well. Uh, I got these two hats, so not the men, they're just normal SSP, but uh, I got these, uh, what's it called, a Shanka hat? They're basically fur hats in this dark blue. Because somebody a while back suggested that I might want to include the super secret police in a future Arctic scene where they're really out of place and you think, how on earth did they get there? So I thought it would be good to get two of those to be future-proof. Uh, so they came on a 60378 Arctic Explorer truck and mobile lab. Uh, and I got two of those, as you can see, in the right color. And I think it looks absolutely smashing. So I think that was a brilliant idea. Very well done. I like it a lot. Uh, and then one more minifigure we got uh, from this. This is actually from the Ninjago City Market set, 71799, uh, and his name is Hound Dog McBrag. So clearly he's a police detective with wonderful sideburns, glasses, handlebar moustache and gritted teeth on one side, or just a stern looking face on the other. But I saw him and, well, I nearly fell off my chair. I thought, I must have him immediately, being a detective, solving some crime in Brick Nottingham. Yeah, he looks... Uh, Looks very impressive indeed. Hound Dog. Hound Dog McBrag. Yeah, you can just imagine him. He sounds super cool. Uh, and then I got four more of these to make another portal somewhere so we can have, uh, I don't know, some historical character appearing in Brick Nottingham or vice versa. Uh, I got this, the Eco 2x4 tile that is sort of a, a blueprint, I suppose, which comes from the 60391 Construction Trucks and Wrecking Ball Crane. Oh, bit of a mouthful. Um, junior set, which presumably they're trying to build or knock down or whatever. Uh, and that's actually a picture of that um, uh, set we were mentioned earlier, the apartment building that the mobility scooter came from. So it's quite appropriate if you've got that set uh, to get one of these. So that's really nice as well. So I like that. And then last, 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 but not least, certainly, is this, which is an idea that I've seen before Um and I think it was part of a friend set, but I just thought I'd replicate it. It's basically getting a little hamster piece and getting two of these uh, half ball pieces, uh, which are usually used around street lamps or something to make a hamster ball. And I thought that this little intrepid hamster could just be rolling down the streets in Brick Nottingham, probably having escaped from the exotic pet store. Uh, and I'll probably do him a long, long way away. Like he's really made some good distance <laughs> in the intervening time between escaping uh, and you'll look a bit incongruous where he is, but that will be the joke. You'll think, what? Is that a hamster rolling in a ball down the street? And the answer will be, yes, 
Yes, it is. <laughs> so I really like that little micro build. So yeah, a bricks and pieces uh, sort of remnants order, which looks absolutely great. Loads of interesting pieces for upcoming builds and future collections and all sorts of stuff like that. A wonderful retro truck with the uh, hot dog 3D sign, which I knew I would use. Uh, the 25 series minifigures, some extra tower pieces to make that tower bigger and that awning for uh, our lovely castle scene future where we've got all the dignitaries underneath including Queen Halbert. Uh, and then thanks very much again Gav for those instructions. I absolutely love the uh, Forbidden Island one. I really want to frame that so it's a really good contribution. Thanks very much. Hound Dog approves. <laughs> Good, good. Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment, and most importantly, to subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. Uh, do also send in ideas for the Series 25 minifigures that I haven't uh, decided where they're going. Uh, and also do remember that you can send something into a future brick call by sending it to my usual PO Box address, just like Gav did. Uh, so next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be doing another build in either the city or the cabinet. A bit stacked again this week, so it might be a smaller one. Uh, but until then, see you! Yeah, you'll always be Basil to me. Basil the Bat Lord. <laughs>